Last time on Total Drama Random Island, Lorenzo struck a deal with Millie to team up with her to get Justin out of the game. Justin tried to woo Millie to get rid of Lorenzo to no avail. Dwayne was able to finally get past Duncan's cold exterior and bond with him. In the challenge, it seemed like a clear Killer Bass lost, but Spud was able to show up when it mattered, winning Killer Bass immunity. Again. Before elimination, Lorenzo was able to convince Blainley to flip her vote onto Justin, but this was just a ploy for Lorenzo to get into Justin's alliance by exposing the rat within the group. Millie is with Lorenzo, and Millie asks what the next stage of the plan is, and Lorenzo says he's not sure. Right now, at best, it would be a 4-4 vote, if they could get B and Elodie to help. But that leaves Owen, Ella, and DJ. And DJ has already said that he wouldn't vote for either Lorenzo or Justin, since those are his friends. Millie thinks about it a bit and wonders if they can expose Owen, and Lorenzo says it's more likely he'll just get himself out due to being a liability in challenges. Justin comes over and asks how it's going, and if they've found any more rats, and Lorenzo says not yet, which has Justin say that if they can't find one by next elimination, he sadly will have to vote out B then. But being in the Alliance, Lorenzo wouldn't care about that, would he? Duncan asks Dwayne if he's ever thought about any strategies in the game, and Dwayne says that honestly his only goal was to go for as long as he could. Duncan says that they can build an alliance and run this team. Dwayne says that he doesn't really have an interest running the team, and Duncan says that it's just figuratively doing so. But for now, they should discuss who are the options. Dwayne says that they could get Kitty into this, and Duncan says that she's a good candidate, but can't she keep her mouth shut? And Dwayne says to give her a chance. Duncan says fine to that, but who else? Dwayne thinks about it before saying Spud could be a good pick. He has Tammy as well, so they can be good if not for just the votes. Duncan in Confessional says that he can't have both Spud and Tammy. They are uselessness incarnate. But he doesn't exactly have room to be picky, since others are probably thinking the same thing. Amy approaches Spud and says that he wants Spud to join an alliance with her. Spud says he will, only if that also means Tammy can be in, and Amy says the more the merrier. Amy says in confessional she has no intentions of keeping Tammy forever, but if they can keep her safe from one vote, that's good enough. Chris welcomes them to their next challenge. They must go into the woods and find their campgrounds where they will reside for the night. The first team back will get invincibility. Owen says they don't have to worry about any bears because he will protect them. While going to the campsite, Lorenzo asks if he can speak to B for a second, but Elodie says that he doesn't really speak. Lorenzo asks what's wrong with him, and Elodie says that nothing's wrong with him, he just doesn't speak. And Lorenzo says that's weird, offending B, and Elodie says that he should be more open to others. Lorenzo in confessional says that he doesn't understand, he meant weird in a cool way. Millie asks how it went, and Lorenzo says that they're thinking about it. Tammy finishes a story of her escapades, and Spud says that's really cool. Amy says in a sarcastic tone that it was great, and Taylor says that it was so great they don't want to hear another one. Spud in confessional says that he doesn't know if getting into an alliance with Amy was the right call. Jock goes to Duncan and says that he knows that he's forming an alliance, and Duncan says if he knows what's good for him he won't tell anyone about it, and Jock says that he misread his intentions. He doesn't want to expose it, he wants to join it. He has Sammy as well. Duncan says that he'll pass, Sammy has a target on her head by Amy and Taylor, and Dwayne says to think about it, they'll have five members if they do it, and Duncan says fine, they can join, but they'll know if anything funny happens at the vote. Jock says they will play clean and honest. Duncan says in confessional not to think that he's let his guard down for a second. Jock plays the nice guy routine, but Jock stole Eva's MP3 player. He can be ruthless, and he doesn't want to get hit by what Jock can do. Screaming Gophers arrive at the campgrounds, and Owen says he will go get food, and Justin in Confessional says that fasting will be good for shedding a few pounds. At night, Owen comes back with fish, and Justin asks how he did that, and Owen starts telling stories of his escapades with his grandfather. On the killer bass, Pete is sleeping when Amy punches him, and he asks what that was for, and Amy says that she can keep him in the game longer. Pete in Confessional says that he doesn't like that mean old blondie, but if she can keep him in the game longer, he will do anything. Amy says that it's good he's gonna join. They'll tell him who to vote for next if they lose. When Screaming Gophers are trying to go to bed, they hear something and they realize it's a bear. They all rush up the tree and Ella hugs Justin out of fear. Ella in Confessional says that she wasn't really scared, but she would take any chance to be next to Justin. Justin in Confessional says that he can at least scratch Ella off the potential rats list. Lorenzo says that this was Owen's fault. He made like a bad omen with all those stories with his grandpa. Nature is testing him now. 
Elodie says that's highly unlikely, it's more likely that he's here because he smelled the fish. DJ asks if Owen can kill the bear now, but Owen says he was lying. He never killed a bear, he was just being theatrical. Ella falls from the tree and as the bear approaches, Ella sings to it, making the bear calm down. Elodie asks what just happened and Lorenzo says that she has superpowers or something. In the morning, killer bats are running to the end when they notice screaming gophers catching up to them. Tammy says to keep going, she will stop them. She starts playing on her ocarina, but everyone passes her and she begins to run to catch up. Screaming Gophers make it first with Tammy being last and Chris says that Screaming Gophers have won immunity. Killer Bass get ready for another elimination ceremony. Before elimination, Taylor goes to pee and says that they are voting Jock. He says that he will vote for him. Dwayne comes over and says that he knows who really messed up here, and Pete says that he can't just betray his alliance. Then he will be on the outs, but Dwayne says that he can offer him a new alliance, and Pete says he will have to think about it. At elimination, Chris says that he's surprised to see them again so soon after their winning streak. If you get a marshmallow, you are safe. Otherwise, board the boat of losers. You're done. Marshmallows go to... Kitty. Dwayne. Amy. Pete. Taylor, Duncan, Spud, Sammy, and the final marshmallow of the night will go to... Jock. Tammy tries to cast a time reversal spell but is carried onto the boat. Before she leaves, Spud yells out that he will miss her, and she says she will miss him as well. P in confessional says, yeah, I flipped, but what did you expect when Tammy was the one who deserved to go home? And besides, the older folk gotta stick together. And that's that for episode 5 of Total Drama Random Island. What did you think? Question of the week. Predict the elimination order from here on out. I'd love to see what you think will happen in the future in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.